You know, a good avionics shop is one that flies one of their finished products all the way from the East Coast out here to Air Venture. That's exactly what a shop called Nexair Avionics has done with this 2007 Cirrus SR22T. Uh, they've got this airplane uh, completely retrofitted with a uh, new garment panel top to bottom. And they, it's an avionics shop that specializes in Cirrus. Brian Wolf at Nexair is going to tell us all about it. Hey, I'm Brian Wolf here at uh, Oshkosh EA Air Venture 2024 with our Nexair Garmin Equipped uh, 2007 SR22. Um, we went ahead and outfitted this aircraft with our latest and greatest Garmin avionics and um, have removed the Avidine Integra system. And I'd like to show you around the aircraft, show you what we've done. We've done over uh, 30 of these conversions into Cirrus along with many other uh, piston aircraft, turbine aircraft. So now we're up front in the Nexair Garmin G500 TXI converted Cirrus. Uh, so up, at, up top in the main instrument panel, we have two 10.6 inch TXI displays accompanied by a GI275 standby indicator, Garmin GTN 750XI, 650XI, along with the GFC 500 autopilot. So all of this package combined leaves us with a pretty well integrated flight deck with a lot of abilities for multi-function modes, engine management, traffic display, charts, weather, and a lot of these different things that us as pilots like to view. So for example, on our MFD here, we could be looking at a traffic page, chart, while looking at a full-fledged PFD, or splitting our PFD and maybe looking at a weather product. Maybe we need to look at our Sirius XM for our trip planning purposes. So a lot of different flexibility with all the different displays to not only display what you need up in front of you, but anywhere on each one of the displays. Now, most of our customers learn to love the TXI system relatively quickly because the menu structure is almost identical to the GTNs. So when you look at the icon layout, the setup, it really makes it an easy transition for our existing GTN customers to get in the TXI equipped Cirrus. And then a lot of them opt to go with the Garmin Autopilot. And you can see a lot of different functionality with the Autopilot. So Garmin has integrated stuff like yaw damper in the Cirrus that's retrofitable, takeoff go around button, vertical navigation, ESP, straight and level buttons, underspeed, overspeed protection, to really show that the system is capable and providing the best safety for our pilots out there. As a part of the TXI upgrade, we do integrate the Garmin EIS engine management system. You can sit there and it'll show you all your different parameters needed in the Cirrus. It also has a crew alerting system. We redesigned the enunciator panel to show those different warning and caution in the event of failures that you see or alternator failures or lower high indications you may see in your Cirrus at a phase of flight. This Cirrus is also equipped with the Garmin Smart Glide technology. That guarded switch there Pitch the aircraft up to best glide speed, turn us to the best suited airport within glide range. It is programmed for those parameters. If you have an engine failure, you know, need to deviate quickly in the aircraft, that will be your helping hand to sit there and bring you to a safe airport environment to maneuver and land the aircraft. The PFD integrates so many different functionalities between synthetic vision, GPS altitude readouts, we can set our barrel minimums in here. There's so many different small items that we can integrate. We have the ability to display three different AHARs and air data sensors with the G500 system in this specific setup. So it has been a popular choice among our customers and many others looking to upgrade their aircraft to Garmin Avionics. So a lot of other questions we get with this whole setup and the Garmin conversion from Avidine is how long does it take? So when we look at these different aircraft and different, you know, generations of Cirrus G1 through G3, you know, how long is it going to take? What is the differences between having, you know, 
dual AARs, dual uh, 650s versus 750, 650s. So our general time frame for a conversion like this ends up being somewhere around four to six weeks. With that four to six week time frame, we're gonna sit there and integrate full PFD, MFD, engine management, loss radios, possibly an autopilot, possibly not. So it's a pretty quick turnaround time. So when we look at our target aircraft, so we are looking for Cirrus's SR20s, SR22s, uh, 2008 to 2001. Those are all of our prospective aircraft that apply to this conversion in the Cirrus. With those airplanes, there's a variety of different installs and combinations of what we do between the screens, data link options, sat phones, remote database, updates via plane sync, autopilots. So four to six weeks are our number. We try to do as much prep as we can in Plymouth for these conversions. All of these instrument panels, they are built at our facility in Plymouth. We have these carbon fiber overlays. We have glove boxes that we designed for some of the early aircraft to give that look of a newer Cirrus to our customers, along with a main aircraft harness that is built before the aircraft arrives. It is nicely overbraided, along with a full set of aircraft schematics to help you in the future for troubleshooting. So here at Nexair, we're here at Oshkosh 2024, uh, booth 317 all week. Uh, also, you can refer to our website along with the Garmin guys for a lot of any general Garmin questions or any serious questions. We've done a ton of conversions over the years on all different types of avionics packages.